What's up guys, this is Jerome with Jobs Well Done Cleaning. I'm about to do another job well done. Uh, this job was a patio enclosure, aluminum framing, uh, a lot of algae growth around the framing and on the screens. Uh, this job was more so finesse than, than uh, power. I could have easily wheeled my pressure cleaner around and blasted off the uh, algae off the screens. But then now you risk making holes in the screens. And also you produce a lot of noise and smoke in this quiet elderly living uh, community. This did not call for a pressure cleaner. This was more of a soft wash type job, which is what I did. Um, the customer also complained about debris on the screen from when they did construction on the roof earlier and she has some grass around the base inside the um frame between the frame and the tiles so a little grass broke there so the first thing you want to do is pre-water the foliage make sure all the vegetation is watered because we are about to do a soft wash which, which contains uh sodium hypochlorite soap and water so you want to make sure that your vegetation is already uh, watered and not thirsty and you also want to make sure that anything surrounding your area that will be affected by your spray is either out of the way or watered or covered the next thing I did was uh, address the little vegetation she had growing in between the, the tile and the aluminum framing uh, I could have gotten a weed eater or the turbo nozzle, which would make a lot of noise and possibly damage the frame and the screen. So I decided to instead use a gutter scooper and scrape these, uh, these growths out. As you can see, they don't have enough room to get deeply rooted inside this little area. So either a gutter scooper or using my hands I was able to remove this easily and then remember we're going to be using the soft wash um, spray which has sodium hypochlorite so that getting into these little crevices will also kill these uh kill the kill these new growths In this profession, one of the top priorities is property protection. Um, like I said before, heavy machinery in this cleaning is not suitable. Every cleaning is tailor-made and custom fit to every customer because every customer situation is different. Uh, this is the reason why uh, pressure cleaners and professionals in this field have the ability to charge what we charge because you're paying for ex expertise and you're paying for uh, the proper care of your of your property. Uh, during this cleaning, believe me, there were other residents watching me and see what seeing what I was doing and watching how I was taking care of this this job because they have seen other guys come and blast holes into the screens, make noise, produce smoke, and they're watching and the HOA is enforcing this cleaning because they want the property to remain looking pretty so this inspired the customer to call me in the first place so all my potential customers right now are watching me for this job I decided to use my portable 12 volt system it's a system I saw on YouTube that I made um, it's attached to a, a, a hand truck with flexilla holes, the 12 volt pump or one one gallon 12 volt pump, and a uh, 12 volt battery. Um, another reason why I decided not to use the pressure cleaner is because the ground outside and the patio floor are even. So if you produce produce a lot of water, that water is going to come back into the patio, and it's going to be muddy, and it's going to defeat the whole purpose of what you're doing. So. This is another reason why soft wash was the perfect um, remedy for this for this patio. So 
guys, this is the final product. Nice, white, clean, aluminum framing patio. I cleaned the vegetation in between the tile and the uh, patio framing on the floor. The debris from the roof is removed. And I even threw in a window clean because it just it was just the right thing to do. Can't have a clean, a clean screen patio and dirty windows.